It's starting. There are kids in this world who are different. Special. I think it's a hoverboard. They look like us and they act like us. But they are not us. Your mother nature. Who wants a selfie with the Grim Reaper? There's a girl flying in the water. Find the treasure. I she belongs to the world of the good. It's a broken locket, exactly like mine. Dog, run! GZM shows. Mars Hour. Imagination amplified. Danny? Danny? Where did she go? Nurse Spector? Dr. Shepard, what are you doing here so late? Uh, I couldn't sleep. I thought I'd come by, you know, help out with the rounds. By, by any chance have you seen Danny Guan? Last I saw, she was asleep in her room. Why? Oh, don't tell me she's out on another one of her little adventures with Sarah and Rocco. Maybe so. Well, come on. I'll call security and help you find them. No, no, it's okay. I never want them to feel like they're in prison. I'll find them. Guys, run! Does it look like I can run? Come on, I'll push you! Go, into the woods. What woods? They're made of metal! Whatever, just go! Where are we going? I, I don't know. Follow the birds. They're all flying in the same direction. Like they know something. Wait, where did our bird go? The one from the clock? Who cares? We need to hide. There, in the wreckage of the castle. Is it safe? Safer than down here. Hey, hey, hey. your wheels. Hey. Guys, look. All kinds of metal creatures with glowing red eyes. Is it just me? Or did it just get super cold out here? I can see my breath. Wait, is that... Oh my! A dragon! A giant metal dragon! It's scaring all the other creatures away. Something's moving under that pile of scrap metal. Nails? Sorry, I was underground. Are you alright? I think so. You have returned. More than a week has passed since you disappeared from my hut. To you, we disappeared. Wait, we've been gone a week over here? Indeed. I'd begun to lose hope. That dragon... Is it with you? What? No, of course not. Why would it be with us? It is just... There hasn't been a dragon in Nightingale in many years. Since I was small. You were small? Nails, what were all those things? They were once Makri, but now, minions of the darkness. It put out their spark, and now it controls them. Their spark? What's that? Explaining would take far too long, Rocco. Now, come out from there. There's much to prepare. Prepare? Prepare for what? Saving the world, of course. I'm gonna float away. No need to run that way. You don't have to choke it down for the folks downtown. Bury it underground. I'm looking at you with fresh eyes. A kaleidoscope of color cries. The bitter parts of me have died. For the uninspired seek better days ahead. Do it for a fan, do it for a future plan Do it cause you can, do it for a better man You can always lean on me, friend If you're tired or if you wanna take a stand Healthier by the day, you struggle gone away 
away Heroes fade, this here to stay Do it cause you're bad, do it cause you're on the man Do it cause the end is very close at hand And you're stronger every day Okay, Sarah, Rocco, let's go over what we know so far. Somehow, the hospital service elevator connects to Nightingale. And both are connected to the little mechanical Nightingale, which somehow flew out of Shepard's clock. But does Shepard know? Hang on, Danny, I have a question. Yes, Sarah. Where'd you get the dry erase board? What? Uh, I don't know. I took it from the nurse's station. They let you borrow it? Does it really matter? I guess not. So, can I keep going, please? I guess. (laughs) Klepto. (laughs) As I was saying, after our run-in with the darkness, Nails tried to show us how we dug out the doors in those ruins. Then that sound started blaring in our heads again. Followed by the delightfully intense headache. Followed by waking up back in the hospital outside the elevator. And just to confirm, none of us peed our pants. Right. None of us. Both times we were only there for a couple hours or so, right? Both times we left here after midnight. And almost no time passed in our world. Now, I think we can all agree that getting pulled back isn't exactly a pleasurable experience, so I'm going to do some research and try to find out exactly why we- Okay. Counterpoint, Danny. No. What? Appreciate all the homework, Hermione, but in case you don't remember, there's an evil world-eating monster that lives there. Not to mention a giant metallic dragon. And as far as Nails and his world of spiky chairs are concerned, we have enough problems of our own. (laughs) More than enough. Are you serious? Sarah, Rocco, we discovered a magic portal that takes us to another world, and you want to not go back? Okay, I've spent the last few years of my life trying pretty hard not to die, so yeah. I'm good. What about Nails? He opened the doors. For us. He said he brought us there for a reason. To help save their world. Then he made a mistake. A big one. Did he? Sarah, I saw your face when we walked out of that elevator. It's like you were a little kid. And Rocco, from the minute you saw that red leaf, you were the most sure it was real. And you're telling me that you'd both rather just sit around here? Bouncing between chemo and rehab? How are we supposed to help save a world, Danny? We're just... us. Knock, knock. Nothing! Uh, hi. Just wanted to say good morning. Danny, your radiation pretesting is scheduled for later this afternoon. Yeah, it's in my calendar. Of course. Rocco, you got your prosthetic consultation in ten minutes. Your dad's waiting in your room. Ugh, right. How could I forget? Sarah... MRI tube time. Got it. What's all this? Hey, is that the whiteboard from the nurse's station? It's a game. A new quest video game. Just strategizing, you know? Uh Uh-huh. Interesting. You know, back in the day, I used to be a wizard on my Game Boy. Metroid, Dr. Mario, you guys ever play Zelda? A little. My friends and I were obsessed. Hey, Dr. Shepard? Where did you say you got that clock in your office from again? The one with the nightingale? It was a gift from a friend when I started working here. Why? No reason. We were just talking about it. Well, I'll leave you to it then. But uh, I'm going to have to take the whiteboard. Sure. Sorry about that. All good. Are you both really giving up on nightingale? I need to get to PT. Sarah? There's an MRI machine with my name on it. Fine. Then I'll just go by myself tonight. I'll tell Nails you said hi! Cowards! Okay. (sighs) Almost there, Rocco. Just push your knee down into the prosthetic, and you'll feel it clicking. (sighs) Okay. 
little push down. <sighs> Perfect. How's that? Any pain? Uh, not too bad. Good. So, I heard you're from L.A.? Yeah. Nice weather out there, I bet. I don't know. I'm here. Brock, don't be rude, man. <laughs> it's okay. Now go ahead and take a step for me, but don't let go of the rails. <sighs> Attaboy, Rock. Looking good. <sighs> oh, look at that. You're a natural. <laughs> See, Rock? We'll be back on the field in no time. Whoa! Uh, this is... <sighs> I'm really doing it. <sighs> Rocco, hey, slow down, bud. No, I... I can, I can do this! Rocco, hey! Take it down and I'm not giving up! I can do this! Rocco! Rock, slow down! Uh, whoa, whoa, no, no, whoa, no, no, whoa, no, no, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, okay. I think that's good for today. No. I want to go again. Okay, Sarah. Please try and stay still while the machine works. You can put on the special metal-free headphones, and if you hear... Anything that sounds like knocking, thumping, or squeaking. It's totally normal. Got it. Not my first MRI. All right, then. We'll get this started. Remember, there's nothing to be afraid of. I'm not afraid. <sighs> I'm not afraid. Exit light Sarah. Oh. Huh? The scans came back looking pretty good. Your cancer isn't spreading as fast as last time. We're lucky to have caught it early. That's great news. But your blood work is showing that you're pretty anemic. Have you been feeling particularly weak or tired lately? Uh, I guess. I, I don't know. Maybe? Dizziness or headaches? Anything like that? No. Not really. Are you sure? What about how the nurse found you passed out in the hallway? Oh, that was nothing. We're gonna push out some iron pills to help out. We'll make sure to give it to We'll start this afternoon, so I want you to promise me. Sarah? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Hey, Dad. Hey, Danny. Uh, I'm at the store, stocking up for your Uncle Lawrence's visit tomorrow. You need anything? New friends. What's that? Nothing. Um, maybe a whiteboard and some dry erase markers? Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I meant more like protein bars or something, but sure, yeah, I can swing that. I gotta go, Dad. Hello there. If you want to talk to me, use the intercom next to the door. Oh. Uh, hey, I'm Danny. I'm George. Do you play D&D? D&D... Oh, with the wizards and dragons? You like dragons? Um, not my favorite these days. Uh, your room, you're in... They call it protective isolation. It keeps the germs out. I've heard about these. Your chemo making you immunocompromised? That's what they tell me. Ewing sarcoma. How long have you been in there? A couple of weeks. I'm sorry. Hey, time is relative, right? So, you want to play? Read the sign. Pick up these dice... If you dare, for inside the room is a warrior's lair. Oh, you don't just play by yourself? I mean, you can, technically, but it's a lot easier doing it with the team. More fun, too. You know what? Sure. Show me how it works. Pull up a chair, any chair. Hmm. At least someone wants to be part of a team. Sleep. Ugh, stupid chemo. 
Okay, fine, Mom. Let's see what you have to say this time. Sarah, it's Mom. Why aren't you picking up? I'm just checking oh. to see how you're feeling. Hello. Any constipation issues? Bird. Well, because Dr. What do you want? What? Don't think you can just come in here and look at me with your weird robot eyes? You know this is all crazy, right? A magical world of magical robots? A magic elevator that's really a portal thingy? Then again, what isn't crazy in my life right now? I mean, other kids get to just hang out and go to school, play in a band. They're out there living their lives while I am stuck in here. Again. Except this time it's two in the morning and I'm feeling like absolute butt from the chemo. And I'm talking to a metal bird that lives in a clock after some know-it-all with a brain tumor called me a coward. <sighs> Fine. Let's go wake up the kid. Rocco. Hey, Rocco, wake up. Get up! What? What? What's going on? Hop in the wheelchair. What, what time is it? Late. Or early. Depends on your perspective. Get in. I'll give you a ride. I have a new leg. Oh. Nice. Can you use it? I try, but I fell on my face like a hundred times. Okay. So, get in the chair. Where are we going? Geez, you ask a lot of questions. I do? Ugh, it's a surprise. Now get in! Let's go this way. Avoid the night nurse. Uh, what time did you say it was? Who cares? Wait a second. Is the nightingale with you? Are we going to the elevator? Elevator? I thought you didn't want to go back to help Nails. I don't. You think I care about some robot and his weird robot problems? I got my own problems, man. Sarah? Rocco? What are you doing out here? Don't ask me. You brought the bird? More like he brought us, but... What's going on? I think she's trying to kidnap me. <laughs> Dude, if I was kidnapping you, you'd know it. Sarah? Look, I started chemo again today. You're on the radiation train. Rocco, you said you spent the afternoon doing face plants in the rehab center. So? Yeah, so? So trust me, there aren't any cowards in this hospital. I'm sorry I called you guys that. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. You ready to free fall, Birdie? Who's ready to free fall? Uh, okay, weirdos. I'm going back to bed. Rocco, wait! I mean, you're already here. Sarah and I are here. The bird's here. Wait, you're kidnapping me too? No. No, of course not. You just released the brake on my wheelchair. Did I? Huh, silly me. Here, let me fix it. Hey, you are kidnapping me. Go! I did not agree to this. Whoops, we're in the elevator. I, I do not agree to this. Excuse me, kidnappers? I want to go back to the hospital now, please. Sarah, are you sure this is the way to Nails' shack? <laughs> Who said we're going to Nails' shack? What does that mean? Where's the bird? Why does it always leave as soon as we get here? Sarah, we're here to help Nails. <laughs> You're here to help Nails. I'm here to... I don't know. Explore. Have some fun. I'm only here because you kidnapped me. Shh! Guys, quiet! Do you hear that? There's a noise. Just through those trees. Careful! Sarah! Can we at least do some scouting before you just barrel through a world we don't know? Is it just me? Was she in a special mood today? Guys! Look down there! Behind those huge iron gates? Whoa! Check out all the mockery! This must be the village where Nails used to live. My stomach took a break from being queasy. Maybe they have something to eat. They're robots. Mockery, but good point. <sighs> Here we go. 
sir. Wait, do we even know if they like humans? Like, maybe they eat us. They got a lot of robots working there? Repent! Repent now before the darkness strikes against! None of us are safe! All of us are doomed! Cheery guy. What do you think that mockery up there in the tower is looking for? Oh, oh um, excuse me, miss. <laughs> Monsters! Monsters! Monsters? Where? I think we're the monsters? Find your next adventure at gzmshows.com. Shh, it's starting. GZM Shows. Imagination Amplified.